lot of my patients come in to see me and they have issues, they have complaints about the way their eyes look, about the way they feel, especially the eyelids and the areas around the eyes, the eyebrows, the, the cheeks. These are areas that we can address with treatments here in the office. And a lot of times that's what people want. They want something that will give them some improvement, that will give them a little pick-me-up, if you will, around the eyes uh, without undergoing a big procedure or a surgery. The treatments that we're able to offer here in the office include many things. The most common are what we call the injectable treatments. The first, which many people have heard of, is called Botox. Well, it treats wrinkles, and that's maybe what you heard about, but it also treats muscles. And it's these muscles around the eyes that's really, that are really responsible for the wrinkles that we develop around the eyes. And in using the Botox injections, strategically placed and understanding the anatomy and the function of these muscles allows me to soften these lines and soften these wrinkles with a quick 10 to 15 minute treatment here in the office. Filler injections are another injectable treatment that we utilize here in the office, but they work very different than Botox. The goal of filler injections is to recreate and restore the volume, usually fat, that we lose over time around the eyes, below the eyelids, around the eyebrows, even down to the cheeks or even around the mouth, the lips in particular, tend to thin and lose volume as we get older. The treatments are quick, usually 15 to 30 minutes, and the recovery is essentially none. You walk out of the office and you can go back on with your day looking the way you want, refreshed, fuller, more youthful. When I have patients that come to me with heaviness, sagging, wrinkling, other issues that occur around the eyes. What we discuss are the many surgical approaches that we can use to restore the natural appearance, the natural contours, and the natural relationships around the eyes. The most common cosmetic eyelid surgery is something called blepharoplasty. And blepharoplasty can apply to the upper lids, where we're trying to reduce some of the excess skin and recreate the natural support of the eyelid crease while also eliminating some of the puffiness that we can accumulate as we get older. Now lower eyelid blepharoplasty is something very different. We're working more inside of the eyelid to address the puffiness and the fat that accumulates as we get older. And with a lower lid blepharoplasty, we're addressing these baggy lower eyelids through surgery, which is usually done with a completely hidden incision, invisible, inside the surface of the eyelid. So there's no incision on the skin, no scar. The recovery is relatively short, a week to two weeks of bruising and swelling, and a day or two of some limited activity after surgery.